Democratic Congressman Grijalva from Arizona has introduced another thinly veiled anti-hunting and anti-science bill into the U.S. House of Representatives called Conserving Ecosystems by Ceasing the Importation of Large Animal Trophies Act or the Cecil Act. This ill-conceived bill would direct the Government Accountability Office, a government bureaucracy, to be tasked to determine whether there is any evidence that trophy hunting in foreign countries contributes to wildlife conservation and recommend reforms of the industry. This has long been the job of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, an agency trained in the principles and science of wildlife management. Sweeping language within the bill is obvious in its intent. This bill needlessly offers countless game animals from around the globe the same level of protection as species currently under the protection of the Endangered Species Act. The Cecil Bill would amend the Endangered Species Act to treat species proposed to be listed as threatened or endangered as though they have already been listed for the purposes of trophy hunting import licensing. Therefore, it would instantly prohibit take or trade of species proposed to be listed. In clearer terms, game species that are not currently listed on the ESA for scientific reasons will now be treated exactly as those that are simply by having an anti-hunting organization propose a species be listed as such. Gone would be the need for scientific evidence to support that request. Let that sink in. This bill, as written, could perpetually put species on the endangered list without ever being formally listed and continuous proposals would be all that is necessary to keep it there. The enormity of this comes into focus when you consider that this bill would require an enhancement finding for not every species, but for each importable trophy. Treating a proposal to list or uplist as if it were already in effect is the equivalent of a broad law banning bail to people charged with crimes, meaning they have to sit in jail until their case comes up. Congressman Gerhalva has a long history advocating for endangered species protection, especially for cats. Now he is advocating for the complete dismissal of decades of successes using sound science to restore and manage species, not only in the U.S., but also worldwide. Our natural resources and their habitats deserve to be managed by those that are trained to do so, not agenda-motivated individuals. Additionally, I am certain that the Congressman has not considered how this bill will impact wildlife resources in Africa. Congressman Grijalva, have you spoken with anyone at the ministry in any African country about your proposed bill? Have you asked them what Africa needs to manage its wildlife and habitats? I'm certain the answer is no. This bill reflects the anti-hunting group's future strategy. Emotional arguments have failed in the face of science-backed wildlife findings. Future attempts to succeed in their ultimate goal of ending all hunting, both at home and internationally, will come through legislation intended to bog down a proven system or circumvent our current and effective wildlife policies. DSC will be closely following and fighting this bill and others like it that disregard the proven benefits of the conservation through hunting model.